everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to show you the difference between some paint sets that are all under $50 except for this one and just let you know how I went with each of the, the sets So what I'm going to show you first is a stamp, little fairy mushroom village. And what I've done is I've used all of these paint sets to paint each one out. Now, except for this one here, which are professional watercolors, these are all of the other sets and they all have good and bad points, uh, except for this set. So this is a kid's set. Um, you can buy it at Big W for $15. The paints are really chalky. They, they, they sit on top of the paper and they take, there's hardly any pigment in them and they, they don't mix very well. Okay, so they, you can see they sit on top. They're not completely transparent you can see where they've sat on top of the and i'm touching that it's just so chalky don't go there all right great for your kids or your grandkids but not if you're trying to do watercolor so the reason i'm doing this video is often at a watercolor workshop jennifer and i will often be asked what paint we're using now we're using these beautiful Van Gogh half pans that are available from art to art or craft online. And we've bought the half pans, but now once we start, we've started to finish some of the colors. So we've actually, you can see we've filled these, we've bought the tubes. So now, and that makes it a little bit more economical. But as you can see by the price, it's not for everyone to just go out and, and buy a set of, uh, of these Van Gogh watercolors. Now they, they are in the range of, they're not student, but they're not professional. They're in between, that's how they're marketed. And they are really price effective watercolor if you want a lot of lots of pigment just pigment in the arabic gum which is professional watercolors and you know being able to mix so i've got this is my swatch chart which matches the pans these out of those colors which are also along there i get all of these beautiful variations on a theme there's just some stunning colors there and you know it makes you realize that sometimes you have a color let's see if i can find one and you think i don't know why i have that color because i can make it from from other other colors so here we've let's see where we let me i found it here's a this is like a vermilion green or a turquoise green and you can see that it's there's turquoise green and i've i can make it using as a yellow light and cerulean blue i can make that turquoise green i can make it again using viridian and naples yellow red and i probably can make it again down here somewhere so that they're called convenience colors you if you mix them up all the time it it's a pain so you buy the color but technically you only need six colors two warm uh, two yellows a warm and a light two reds a warm and a cool not a light a cool sorry and two blues a warm and a cool and you can pretty much get every single color in the rainbow 
but there are colors that you are going to use all the time and uh, you know you don't want to have to mix them every time you paint so that's why you buy them okay so they're the van gogh's and they're beautiful and jennifer and i love using them and uh, and that's this little mushroom here you can see i was able to get beautiful blooms um, without using just the same color i was able to layer it and make it sort of darker you can still see all of the stamp it hasn't it doesn't sit on top it actually soaks into the paper like watercolor should now let's we'll just start so we've already said don't go there they're these ones no they're for kids just kids okay let's have a look what have we got next to us here the micador now in our watercolor class we use the micador for students and they're not much better than these ones okay so i got the micador for let's take that off so you can see the whole package uh, for artists and they're brilliant watercolors they're available at office works and they're just under 40 dollars they are absolutely brilliant watercolors as in they you need sunglasses look at them <laughs> jennifer's laughing <laughs> she's over there she's over there watercoloring <laughs> okay so the thing uh, that what jennifer and i did we had a bit of fun over the easter weekend we had all of these paints and we did up a swatch chart and then we did a color mixing chart and when you look at the color mixing chart for this you can see the colors don't mix well i was trying to make a skin color and it didn't matter what i did i couldn't get that again so they're very hit and miss they do have a lot of really bright color they are chalky though so you know oh and it's even rubbed off on my hand excellent but they are as you can see when you compare here they are very vibrant and if they're the type if that's the type of watercolor you want to do then it's wonderful you get some nice blooms it is a bit chalky and the colors are very very brilliant if you're going to go for these ones you need to go do what we did because of course they're just discs so i'll take it off and we've done this to all of them so we've labeled them disc one through to four i think you can actually get uh six but yeah yeah but i i just wanted to keep it under the 50 dollar mark so and then we've numbered them one through to six because as you see i mean when you look on here what colors do you think they are well if you look at the top row that's so we've got winter white lemon yellow these are written on the back of the packet luckily sometimes you don't get the colors these ones don't look like there this really dark one is this golden ochre so you need a way of knowing which one's which because i mean look at that you know they're all grays and well you think oh yeah they're all black and grays but they're actually that's a pearl and then you've got gray black this is actually a sage a green uh sepia and brown you have to and i found when i was painting this and i was trying to get the colors even just to pick up these uh colors without mixing i had to refer to this so that i could get to the right uh little paint pan i guess you call it a pan but it is convenient when it's all together it's this little thing you can use the lid as a uh, paint palette instead of uh, if you out and about instead of using a china one you can use this although i don't like mixing on plastic so good and bad personally i didn't like them but you know other people will like them so just because i don't like them, this is not an endorsed video this is my own opinion so there you go you can see there's the little mushroom village oh yes it is a village and they come like that so from officeworks and they're under 40 dollars 
nice to put in your in your bag and carry around okay what have we got next oh we have to move this because they're all hiding up there let's get these out pile them up over there okay uh let's go here so derwent ink tents now i have the ink tents blocks and the pencils and i love them for mixed media work for watercolor yeah nah they have of all of these here even the cheaper ones are bright they're very dull and which is really a shame uh, let's open up the packet it's a nice little travel set uh, it's it's got that there but if you have a look at the the swatch it's fairly close but it is good to swatch on the paper that you use you've got five little areas for mixing remember if you're using plastic get a bit of baking soda and water and just give it a, a, a wash and uh, your paint will mix a little bit better now it comes with an aqua brush so you can and it's got a stopper in there because it doesn't go together so you can fill that up with water and off your trot you've got room to put a little eraser or something it's got a sponge these actually uh, come out oops can they even come out so the beauty is i guess one when, when you're finished you could still use the, pa the pans and the the set and buy better quality tubes and refill these perfect so uh, head back in there. once again as you look because they've got that's more highly pigmented uh, the blocks do not look so this one almost looks lime green but it's actually what do they call it sherbet lemon and this is cherry this is this is that that pink so you need to swatch okay uh i was really disappointed with uh the way they painted and even the way they mix they're, they're they're muddy they're not bright at all if i was using this set i would just be using them as they are uh, i wouldn't be trying to mix colors uh office works again 45 also 46 dollars and still a very handy little travel pan that's nice to see the colors you can you can see they're very muddy yeah so I would use these but I would keep them for mixed media and art journaling and uh, which is what I use the blocks and the, the pencils for uh, I wouldn't use them for watercolor but like I said this is my opinion so let's let's make a big pile over here next uh yes so these are the ganzi tambi the kuretake um paints these are also from office works you can buy them i think also from art to art and same with the derwent set and uh probably eckersley's i haven't checked so about the same size as the, as the derwent the little pan open it up we've got quite a few mixing wells here one two three four five six seven eight nine mixing wells whoops i'm stuck to the paint i'll put that away wet naughty me anyway now the tambi the the kuretake are actually they are watercolor pigment inks okay they are made for japanese watercolor which is different from the watercolor we're doing it's done on rice paper it's um they flow uh, but they do not if you see they don't bloom i had a i've got a tiny bit here but i've done like a a, a lighter a washed out green i tried to put some more of the sap green in to make it bloom. all it did was just like fill out anything that was wet it didn't it didn't bloom like this you didn't get that variation of color which is what we love 
in watercolour. Uh, it mixes nicely, mixes nicely. It's not chalky on the paper, like, like this one is. Person personally, I didn't like them myself. Uh, I think because I was trying to, uh, on here, I was, you know, I was trying to do the same thing and add, like, get little blooms and darker colours and all it's done. You can, I've got like a, almost a line. It looks like I've painted to there and missed it or something. It wasn't as nice. It also does sit on top, so it has the ink from the stamp is, it's not completely transparent but at least I could mix like a bit mixed a nice skin color for the little fairies and I think these might be little goblins or elves or something down there and uh, you know I had a bit of fun uh, trying to get here but it just ended up becoming just a flat wash I think for art journaling and for mixed media these would be lots of fun to experiment with on the box you can see here it's it's not dense like this they're very very made to be used really watery and would be beautiful doing calligraphy if you wanted to, to do some colored calligraphy so in the little travel box again you've got a watercolor brush and you also have a a pen this is a, actually water-based pigment so uh, it doesn't say that it's permanent. So I'm not sure if it's permanent or not. But it's got a nice nib on it. Um, the tricky part, knowing if it's permanent or not. Yeah, it is. So I'd have to look that up. But uh, yep, good. I'll be keeping those for art journaling. Once again, these come out. So when you're finished. Again, you could fill these up with uh, whatever colour paints if you wanted to get nice, say, Van Gogh or even go go to the pricey stuff and buy Winsor & Newton or Daniel Smith. And uh, these, I uh, have to be careful, they actually come out. So you, oh, there we go. It's got the number and the name on the back. They stay in there. So, you know, the little travel palette can be reused it when you've finished I also thought it was uh, when if you look at my pans here uh, this one here which I've hardly used because it's black I don't use black um, you know it's completely full it's actually almost over the over the top can you see how oh, they're only half full so that's a lot of money for a half full pan I, I think anyway so, but you know I will use them for, for watercolor uh, not for watercolor for uh, art, art journaling and uh, they won't go to waste here we go right this little one is this El Dorado. Uh, no, not it's El not El Dorado. <laughs> Jennifer and I have been saying El Dorado. It's we can't El, say it. El, El no, Araldo El, de Paolo. Oh, yeah. So I was quite surprised at this little set. It's a, it's smaller than the um, Kurataki and the the Derwent. It's got a. This doesn't line up with this. So it's pretty useless. So once again, we've done a, a swatch chart. You'll notice on all of our charts, we do the colour and then uh, just wipe the brush off and just bring it down so that you get that value range. That's good to know. Um, it's got a black and a white. You know, we don't really use that. I've put a Sharpie, a Sharpie. so that I could see the white on top, but uh, I wouldn't be using white either. You've got five little mixing areas. It opens down flat. And these little pans also come out. So you could use it again. I could actually, I don't know if my Van Gogh ones would fit in. 
not quite. They're a little bit too big, but you can buy these empty. Um, so you could reuse the thing again. This little brush only plastic handle, it's a number two. Um, funnily enough, I painted all the delicate stuff with this and it's actually, it's got really good, um, really good spring. Like it comes straight, oh, it needs to be wet, but it's got really good, it was a, for a little cheap brush, it was actually quite handy. So here's the mixing chart. You've got, so you've got 12 colours and you've got a nice little range of, of colours there. Nice, some nice skin tones, some beautiful landscape and floral, nice colours there. Here's the little house. It bloomed a little bit. I couldn't get that, uh, this variation of colour here. But do you know what? For $15 from Wright now, you have to buy online now because Wright doesn't have uh, any stores anymore. We used to have one over at West Lakes. But for a beginner set, I actually preferred this over this one. And for $15, you really can't go wrong. Convenience colours, that's... Yeah, you, you could do a, a basic colour wheel. You haven't got two yellows or two reds. But if you got rid of the black and the white, I reckon you could probably take them out of the pan. Oh, yes, look. I mean, you just put water in the bottom if that bothers you and it'll just stay there. And you could add, give, give yourself a, a warm yellow in, and you could get a... Uh, a cool a warm red and then you would have all the colors that you need so actually for the price a really good beginner set so one thing I didn't mention is that I found this I had to add quite a bit of water to for it to activate and like, I had to wait for it to soak in and activate these ones all I have to do is get a wet paintbrush put it in and I've picked up color it because they're highly pigmented these ones uh, they needed to have a bit of water on them uh, but not too much water there's one here that I, I have, haven't reviewed you can still see I actually had to fill each little thing up this is a kids one Don't, you're not going to buy this uh, I had to fill it all up with water just to try and get some paint. Uh, the ink tents, they wet quite well, uh, easily. Uh, well, sort of mid-range-ish. These ones, uh, you, know, you know, with my trusty little dropper, I just could put a, a drop of paint on there and not wait all that long for the pigment to activate. A really good little set for a beginner recommend this one and what have we got last but definitely not least our favorite wasn't it Jennifer of all the ones we tried and bought all the other ones <laughs> so this is from spotlight and in fact at the moment aren't they on special for 21 yes yes I'm not sure when that finishes but this is the primary collection well, Jennifer's going to throw me over the boxes of the others they also have well, there's one that wasn't in stock. They also have a a landscape. Look at those beautiful Australian land. These are Australian paints. Beautiful uh, nature one. Let me just make it go flat. See, look at those beautiful colours. And this is the ocean. Even got the Great Ocean Road on the box and there was also a pastel but it wasn't in stock nope. anyway so these were they come in, they come in a tin everything else has been plastic because uh, we, we've bought more than one because we like them so we thought for the price they make really good practice ones so that we're not using our really expensive ones all the time uh, you've got a watercolor I don't like these brushes so I would take I wouldn't leave that in there. 
I would put something else in there, maybe a little tiny IKEA pencil and a needle eraser or um, you know, a little bit of washi tape around around the pencil so that I had washi tape. Does the eyedropper fit in there? No. Oh. Uh, so it's got a sponge and these uh, like this, you only you need a, a, a wet paintbrush and just touch it. You actually don't need to put lots of, unless you're wanting to do a big flower and you want to put it into your into your mixing, then you would put your water dropper on there and you swish it around and bring it over and mix your colours. But they were, they painted and mixed beautifully. And for, you know, un, for $30 or less, if you can buy them, get them on special, absolutely amazing. So you can look at the colours there. Um, you can see that I got, I was able to, it's, they're not quite as vibrant as this, but I was still able to get that bit of blooming on the edges. And in here, the colours mixed up were just stunning. Can I have some of the, can I have that one, Jennifer? And, and a swatch, just the sheet. Thanks, darling. So this is the ocean. Jennifer only bought these yesterday. So look at those beautiful colours. Now, you always know it's good when you can look them up and you can get the pigment numbers. Like when you look on the site, they have the pigment numbers. So that's really awesome. They're not chalky, which is really nice. So this is the ocean. So imagine you're going along the Great Ocean Road. You've stopped on the side of the road to do a bit of a, uh, bit of plain air and ink and wash. Look at these beautiful colours out of the out of the palette of ocean. It's just just stunning. So they're really nice. To, where's the landscape one? Have we got that one somewhere? In swatch or colour? Mixing. Isn't it that one? No. That's Australian landscape. Oh, is it? Oh. What did, oh, what did I do with the Gamby one? Or did we decide not to do one? Because, Ah, yes, I remember now. I've shown you the wrong uh, mixing chart because the Gamby ones, because they just didn't mix, I, we didn't bother doing a mixing chart. This is the Australian landscape. So can you imagine going up to the Flinders Ranges Ooh. in spring, all the little stirp desert peas and, and uh, are out and about. But look at that. I mean, they, these were made for Australian painting. Look at these beautiful colours. So, absolutely stunning. I love the little tins. They're just, thanks, very handy. You've got three large mixing wells and one, two, three, four, five, six smaller ones. And you can still mix on here. Once again, because it's tin, you want to just give it a bit of a wash with baking soda. Make sure you wash all the baking soda away. That just helps uh, take the... Oh, I don't even know what it does, but it, it's so that it doesn't all bead onto the on there. But I was actually really pleased with... They're not chalky. I love... I've got really good um, fluffy sky happening. It was, it was just a bit of fun. So that's the primary set. My favourite, I think, would be the nature set. Because if we look at the back, it's almost the same colours, except no white or black. And we don't need white or black. So, you know, you've got... Uh, what are the extra colours in that we've got? We've got a burnt umber, a yellow ochre olive green, a dark grass green, beautiful. So imagine painting something like that, just lovely. So there you go, I've uh, I've done the hard work for you, bought a whole lot so that I could paint them out and see what they were like. And like I said, this is just my opinions and if 
you're in class with me and you want to try any of these ones that I've bought, then you ask, ask and except for these ones, they're just, they're, they're not going. They're going in the, uh, the in, big, in the kids, no, in the oh. kids thing. There'll be some kids that will find that will want to paint with them and that will be fine. So, anyway, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye. Say bye, Jennifer. Bye.